Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. Today we're working on a Whirlpool built-in dishwasher. The customer's complaint is that the dishwasher, when it runs, is leaking out the right-hand side. So we've determined that the gasket is a little deformed and we're going to be replacing the gasket today. To begin the repair, we first must open the door. The tool you would need to complete this repair is a pair of needle nose pliers. Now that the door is open and we have access to the tub gasket or door seal, using a pair of needle nose pliers, starting at the right hand corner, I'm just going to grasp the gasket and pull it out. Once the gasket has been fully removed, using a clean, damp uh, washcloth or paper towel, we want to go ahead and clean out the gasket recess. We're just trying to remove any bigger uh, pieces of debris or particles. So now we can go ahead and prep our door gasket for installation. Now that we have our new gasket, we're going to prep it. We're just going to fold it in half. On the back side of the gasket, there is a yellow dot, which just indicates the uh, halfway point of the gasket. So now that we have our new gasket, let's install it. So we're going to look for the yellow dot on the back of the gasket and line it up with the door strike and push it in. The yellow dot will face towards the inside and then all the black is towards the outside. So we're just going to push it straight in. Now we don't want to push it in all the way uh, because we are going to push it in most of the way, but whenever we close the door, the door is going to actually seat the door gasket uh, all the way. We're just continuing the insulation on the right hand side now. Now that the gasket's been installed all the way, we're just going to close the door a few times to finish sealing that gasket. We can now go ahead and run a test cycle and this will complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.